Hey man, say man, back at y'all again today, man, with another video. Guys, today I am in need of a few items. I'm looking for a jersey or two for the upcoming countries I plan to visit. I'm also looking to possibly get a new piece of luggage. Now I have outgrown my backpack, unfortunately. So I'm thinking about getting a large piece of luggage that I can check in at the airport. So first stop today is going to be Central Market. Thinking about grabbing a bite to eat here. And then we are going over to Jalan Petaling, which is of course the replica market because I don't want to pay so much money for a suitcase. But yeah, guys. So here we are, Central Market. Check this out. There's some sick statues. House of Silver. Big Cuban bracelets too. Very nice. Oh wow. Okay. Swords. That is that is really nice. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue on. So it is a Sunday here in Malaysia and it is definitely, definitely crowded here at the market. But one thing I do have to admit is there's no copyright music playing, so that's pretty nice. I can take clips freely without having to worry about the copyright tunes. So let's keep it pressing, guys. I'll go ahead and give you as much of a walkthrough as I can here. Uh, there is a second floor as well that we will check out shortly. But for now, we're just going down the main pathway heading towards the food court because I'm curious to see what they are serving up here at the food court. So you're okay, kind of fine. Yeah, like I said guys, definitely busy here on a Sunday and it's a 12.44 to give you a time reference. When you take the green line, uh, also the orange line as well, many, many sections interchange here. You can get put off within a five minute walking distance from Central Market. So it honestly made it a no brainer to go ahead and check it out today. Kale's oldest Nazi I am. I wonder if that's actually true. Check out a few of the different stores here on the side. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to see here. I would say give yourself at least two to three hours if you want to embrace all of Central Market to see everything that they have to offer. Um, let's go ahead and head upstairs to see what it looks like up here. So it seems like it's a lot more of the same. You have a lot more local products here than you would at just your typical market we are just above where we entered here that was the entrance i came in from and you're greeted with the food court so we take a quick peek here yeah nothing much over there let's go ahead and explore the food court let's go ahead and pop into the kl story a brief walk around of Central Market feel free it's okay it's okay feel free to uh, pause the video if you need to to check out some more of this information and you can tell that is the most close resemblance to where we are today this guy has a cool last name some information on a lot of the attractions here. So the iconic buildings, museum galleries, cultural hubs, sports and recreation centers, sloping streets. And of course, that's where we're going to check out the luggage up soon. And you can tell they are scattered all over the city as well. 
lot of the community members and festival information here, which is pretty cool. Little, little teaser here, we will be there very soon. Here are some information on the historical trades of Central Market. Ooh, even tin mining, that's very interesting. Historical personalities as well. And the map change from 1880 to 2023, that is quite the significant difference. All right guys, let's go ahead and continue this walkthrough now. I guess we'll go on to the other side to see what that looks like. And then I'll show it to you guys. So let me go down the stairs and we'll exit out that door there. And I'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, so exiting the main portion of Central Market behind us, you are greeted with this portion. And it looks like this is mainly going to be an art gallery, art corner guys so right here at central market before i head to pedaling street uh, i definitely found a few different bags here and now i did find one style that i like it's 100 of course that is the maximum of my budget that i want to pay but if i can't find anything else i know where to go all right guys and once again we find ourselves back down here on pedaling street we are back here once again like i said to pedaling street so as you've seen on the channel we have been here several times before um, we're just going to catch a few things now i need to see if my jersey guy has the korea jersey and a japan jersey as well and if he does we will probably shop with him if he doesn't i'm planning to go back to uh, ampang point and just go ahead and pick up the original one since it is such a good price however with that being said even though the original is such a good price at ampang point we can still get a better deal here on a second quality so that's what we're gonna go see let's go hit up my jersey guy real fast and see what he has but now we are just taking the mrt so same price there on those guys as what we saw back there uh, but 100 for the large size man that's not a bad price Alright guys, so I am here now at my Jersey guy's spot. Now unfortunately he does not have that specific style, but he does still have some pretty cool stuff. I'm not seeing any Korea jerseys and that's honestly what I'm in the look for. Now this is definitely my favorite rack here. Always like to go take advantage of the clearance sales. You can tell there is the Chelsea jersey there that I am currently wearing. Um, got a few Miami right here internationals as well and then a Malaysia jersey but unfortunately this one is a, a little dirty which is why it's made it to this rack. Guys so no Korea and no Japan style um, that's I can't find it so I'm gonna go ahead and check a few more shops as well and then it, see if I can find those styles. Alright guys so I did my search no Japan jersey 2020 style and they did not have any Korea jerseys at all so unfortunately not finding a jersey here I'm probably gonna go all the way back to Ampang grab the one at Ampang Point Mall so right across the street from Petaloon Street Market you have Koto Raya which is a mall right across After a quick Google search, I realized that Kota Raya, right next door to Jalan Peddling Street, had the store I needed to visit and the jersey I needed in stock. It was called Sports Planet. Went over there, picked up the jersey, and we are secured for the Japan trip. That's all I have for you in today's video. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!